Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with every Libra and it will not resonate with every Libra cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Take a moment to please read through the description box as well, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I am not offering personal readings at this time, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links in the description box. Libra. I just saw the fool. Somebody could be maybe making, um, wanting to take a leap of faith or is about to. Um, new beginnings energy. Aquarius. Oof, we have the Seven of Swords first card out. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ten of Cups, uh-oh. Knight of Wands. The world and we have the ace of swords yeah guys i feel like somebody is stepping out on their family somebody that you're dealing with is not who they say they are somebody is living a double life here um they're maybe posing as a king of wands but they're actually a knight of wands this person's a player they're a cheater they're a liar this person's sneaking out on their family their children their wife I do see when this person not speaking in the future and this cycle closing out between the two of you. It's like you're going to realize that this person was just kind of finessing you. They were never going to really give very much to this anyways. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If things don't work out between you and this person, just know that it's a disaster averted. Or if it hasn't already worked out, just know it's a disaster averted. It was going to bring a lot of toxicity into your life and a lot of drama, chaos, blow-ups, all that into your life, okay? Um, but I just keep getting this energy of you're going to find out that somebody isn't who you who you think they are or who they thought who you thought they were. They were hiding. Like, they were living a double life. I feel like you guys need to pull your energy back from this person. energy today in my readings of people having quarter life crises or like a midlife crisis it's like somebody was more mature at some point and then they like kind of like went back to a childlike state Something has ended or come to an end. For some of you, I'm feeling actual death. And, I, and they, oh my gosh, guys, I swear I didn't see that card before. I flipped it over. Yes. Yeah, somebody could, I don't ever talk about this, but somebody could have died. Or that's, that could, something, there could be like a death in the family or a death of somebody. I'm picking up on death. I'm, I'm looking at this forest horrors and how this person looks like they're, you know, on their deathbed. Now they want to put an end to their trickery. Now they want to put an end to their cheating. Something's coming to an end and it's like now they want to put an end to like their deceptive ways and now they want to reconcile because something else ended for them or didn't work out for them or they could have experienced some type of loss. Ten of Cups. 
business. What about this? They're in some type of work contract. What's this mean for my Libras? Somebody needs to let a job go. Somebody needs to like get a different job, let a job or a business, like they need to like re rethink what they do for work or they need to move away from a certain career or a certain job and maybe get a new one or maybe switch like fields that they're in. Set boundaries, king of wands. Hot mess. Yeah, this person is a hot mess. I told you, it's like they're like, they were, yeah, it's like they got bored with their life. They wanted, they wanted to have more fun. They wanted to bring more excitement into their life. They felt trapped in their marriage or their current circumstances. And they turned into a little boy or a little girl and they just started being a player or love offer. What about this? Relocation. What's that to do with my Libras? Anger. You maybe offered your love to this person or maybe they offered their love to uh, somebody else. They, they started pursuing new love and they like, maybe even if you guys were living together, they moved out or they relocated. You didn't feel like this person did you dirty in some way. That's all I'm seeing. This person did you dirty. They were a player and they're going to get their karma or they're already getting their karma. You will, you will get what you deserve. They will get what they deserve. This is probably a karmic that you've been dealing with. Four of swords. You will find clarity and answers in um, introspection and silence and meditation. But if you've, you know, you've not, you've been confused. You're not understanding things. You will get the answers. You will get the closure. Yeah, maybe some of you guys are not completely over a person that did you dirty. And you will find that closure. And this person is probably going to come back and ask for another chance. But... If you guys are grieving this person, sad over them, that's going to come to an end. All right. There's something here about grief and sadness. Death. Endings. Let it out. Don't hold it in. Let it out. Don't hold it in. Express it. Because that holding on, like harboring... Grief, resentment, anger, hurt, like all those things literally take a toll on your physical health, your health, your mental health, your physical health. It, it, it's tough on your body. Take the time you need, though. It's like something has come to an end, but take this time as an op like take this time off or this like break as an opportunity to recuperate. Try to do things that make you happy. Take care of yourself. Put yourself first. What about online? Secrets. Somebody was doing something online behind somebody's back. They're 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 shady with their with like their social media. They're secretly on a dating app or they're secretly doing something like spying online. Spying? Why? Only getting bits and pieces of what's going on in somebody's life. They're sad. Somebody's sad. They have they have regrets. They have regrets. Yeah. They they wish that they would have like. They went against their better judgment, or they went against their intuition, and they regret that now. The divine warned this person in some way. It could have been a dream. It could have been signs, synchronicities. In some way, the divine warned this person not to do what they did, and they did it anyways. So now it's biting them in the butt. What's the name for my Libras? Learning. Guys, and for those of you that are just still just desiring to be with this person and make things work, Spirit wants you to know that it's going to be quite some time before this person gets it together. They have a lot of karmic lessons they still need to learn or just lessons and they need to grow. They need to mature. I do see that there will be an opportunity in the future for you and this person to rebuild a relationship, rebuild 
the love between the two of you have a healthy relationship but and it's gonna it, the, the opportunity is going to present itself very out of the blue ace of swords yeah we have the ace of swords there is going to be a breakthrough in this connection we have soulmates but it's like you guys need to think about that this person switched up on you you know what i mean they switched up on you they were like all for you and then they turned into a player they maybe pursued other things that didn't work out for them so now they want to come back and try to make this work so why did they see your value value before you know what i mean but there is going to be an opportunity here for you guys to have a harmonious partnership now that's going to be completely up to you but with this alien card i don't know guys you guys may not feel like that's where you're supposed to be anymore yeah and you're going to maybe feel like you need to transition into the next phase of your life it's going to be maybe too late for this person yeah leave old flames to embrace the new so this person's going to come back wanting to try to make this right and you're going to be moved on or not be interested in this you're going to want to leave the, the you know what's it called respect the dead and what's it what's that saying i forget what that saying is it's like the situation is done and over with let it rest you know what i mean Oh, the ghosted. So this person, for some of you, could have been ghosted. It's like, if somebody ghosted you, respect the dead and, you know. New experiences in life. I don't feel like you guys are going to be interested in that. But for, for those of you that are interested, the, the it will present itself. The, the opportunity to make this right. Fix this. Now, whether or not that's a good thing for you guys is another. How will that turn out for my Libras? We have self-image. Yeah, you're gonna this person, you're gonna feel feel very insecure with this person. Because they left you. They left you, they ghosted you for other people. You're not gonna feel like you can trust them. Isolation. You're gonna feel you're not even gonna be able to you it's like the, you, this person's gonna be not emotionally invested, you're not gonna be emotionally invested. I feel like you're gonna eventually choose to be alone or not be with this person. Even if you do give it a try and focus on maybe your money and career. Yeah, you're gonna have to make a decision about this. It's like between focusing on your finances and career or trying to make things work with this person. The choice will be yours. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you guys this week. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. I am not offering personal readings, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or your weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.